Hey guys and welcome to a new Photoshop tip for quite frankly. Now this tip will save you a lot of power of your computer. So this is very important if you work on let's say an old MacBook Pro or an old PC or if you work with a lot of layers. Now normally when you retouch something you sometimes use the clone tool right? And let's say I want this gone. So I will zoom in, view 100% and let's say I want this little one gone. Go to the clone tool, make sure it's 100%, you sample, and now it's gone, right? But you also want this gone and that gone, but you don't know for sure if you like the effect. So what do you normally do? You make a duplicate layer, because you always have to work on a duplicate layer, and you start doing your retouching. Now in the end, you like the effect, or you want something gone, you can always use the brush or layer masks or whatever, but the more layers you get, the more slower the computer will get, because it takes memory, right? So there's a little trick that's a little bit easier to do. Make a new layer. So this is a totally empty layer. Now what you have to do is you go to your clone tool, and you say sample all layers. Now if I do something like this, and I remove stuff, or I push pixels around, you see that the effect is still there. I can remove this, and this is the original, and this is the retouched one. Now if you look very closely, what you actually see is that I have an empty layer with all the retouching on. And this saves you a lot of memory, because now the document isn't two layers stacked on each other, but it's one layer, an empty layer with the retouching. So especially for guys with all the computers that are a little bit slower, or if you want to keep all your speed in your computer, use a different layer, or sorry, an empty layer, and use the sample all layers. So that's the tip for today. <laughs>